So, David Kerr, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Awesome. Uh, so, you're the director of this movie. Yeah. How do you feel? That sounds important. Uh, how do I feel? I'm really excited to awesome. be taking this movie out to the world. Uh, we've lived with it for about a year and a half. No so, way. it's about time we shared it with some people. Awesome. So, I have a few questions about this movie. The first one is, this is like an action comedy. What's the hardest part of making this film? Like the action, the action part or the comedy part? Well, I think you've got to pay attention to both. I think uh -huh. the key thing is that if this film doesn't work as a comedy, mm -hmm. it doesn't, the train doesn't leave the station, okay. the Aston doesn't leave the garage, the whole thing is dead. So it's got to work first and foremost for the funny. But what I felt with the action is that the action has to be really properly exciting uh -huh. and you've got to get both right. And so even when you're doing action scenes, they have to feel like they belong in the same movie as the funny stuff. Right. Would you say this is like English comedy? I think it is. An English style? You know, I think it's, I, I, you know, it's about as British as comedy gets, right. really. <laughs> and yet it kind of riffs on comedy that's as old as Keaton, Chaplin, Harold Lloyd, the silent comedians. Because awesome. in a way, Rowan is our clown, you know. He's uh -huh. the British version of those guys. All right. But and I, I just saw the movie. And it's really funny. And I noticed that uh, there's a lot of like one second scenes that it looked like it took a lot of like planning to do those like one second scenes. Did that happen? Oh, I mean, the whole thing took an enormous amount of planning. I love to say that, you know, we just kind of turned the camera over and uh -huh. we just ca caught what happened. But actually, the whole thing is incredibly rigorously, meticulously planned. I'm a, I'm a YouTuber from Mexico. This is going on YouTube. And a lot of times when I tell a joke, when I, when I say the joke, like, a lot of times, to me, it stops being funny. It's still funny for everybody. Whenever they hear it for the first time, it's funny. But since I've heard it a lot of times, the same joke, like, it kind of loses the magic to me. Did that happen to you? Like, when you repeat a scene over and over, do you start to question, like, okay, is this funny? Or Oh, it's a really good question. I mean, you're always asking yourself, is this funny? Am uh -huh. I still finding this funny? Uh -huh. Am I not finding it funny because I read the line six uh -huh. months ago, uh -huh. I heard the line read in rehearsal, I've seen the line in the last nine takes, and you just have to kind of hang on to the thing that made you laugh the first time. Uh -huh. And you have to be really hard on yourself in terms of, you know, what can I do to make it funnier? All the time you think, how can I make this funnier? Am I missing anything? Should it be slightly faster? Should it be slightly slower? Uh -huh. But you've got to remember that the audience are only going to hear that once. And you've uh -huh. got to, you know, just hold on to what you felt when you first encountered that funny line or saw that funny thing. And that's what the audience are going to feel. So uh, let's changing the topic a little bit. The Oscars were planning to do like a, like a prize for most popular film. And it looks like they just put it on hold because of criticism. What are your thoughts on an award for a popular film? I, you know, I don't think that a, an award specifically for a popular film is needed. Uh -huh. I think the best popular films just win out for audiences and critics. You know, I think I think it is possible to make a film that audiences and critics enjoy. It's really hard, and it doesn't happen every year. And but if you look at the Oscars over the years, they've given awards to to movies that have managed to win over audiences uh -huh. and critics. So. I think I think things are fine, and I think I think you know. It sounds like the Academy have already sort of backtracked on that. Uh -huh. um, I noticed that the you know Adam McKay was uh, was tweeting, uh, you know, what there'll be a, an award for the hottest female alien, uh -huh. Uh -huh. or um, you know, shit that blowed up good. Uh -huh. So you know, <laughs> I think um, I think a lot of people have been skeptical and rightly so of the idea of you know creating a separate award All right. for popular so. movies. <laughs> One last question. Uh, this interview is going on YouTube. A lot of people are going to watch this film on like streaming services. And uh, what are your thoughts on this like the new this new like streaming culture that's changing the industry? I think you know there's no substitute for sitting in a cinema with hundreds of strangers and finding something in common to laugh at. I just uh -huh. love that as a sort of sensation, as just being part of that audience. And I find I laugh at comedies more with an audience than I do yeah. in my living room. Uh, but listen, you know, we accept the reality of now, which is people want to watch films at home, on the move, on their phone, and uh -huh. all of that. So I embrace that. I think you, you know, you're just delighted if people are going to respond to the material you made wherever they find it. Awesome. Well, that will be it. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Yeah. Great to meet you. you. <laughs>